I'm gonna warn you right now that it is an incredibly windy and sunny day in Raleigh while I film this. We have wind gusts like over 20 miles an hour and I have really tall trees around my house. So between the clouds and the trees blowing in and out, the lighting might be a little funky in this video. I hate studio lights, so if I can control it, I try not to use them. So if the sun is out, I'm gonna look like this. If clouds come, it's gonna get a little bit darker, but I'm here to tell you about the beauty products I took with me on vacation what I'm so glad I had with me and what I actually used. A little, dis there, the sun's going away a little bit. Hopefully that's not too dramatic for you. A little disclaimer for you to know is as much as I love hair and beauty, these trips, especially with my family, like there was no work at all. Um, I really keep my beauty routine minimal. Um, I like to kind of shower and get ready for the day and I'm sorry, for the evening because the day is spent by the pool. So there was no beauty involved. Uh, but when we went out at night, I wanted to do a little something with myself, but it was very basic and simple and very quick and something that I was willing to throw out the window if we ran out of time. So my mindset on vacation with beauty is keep it simple, do what works for you, um, and just enjoy your vacation and don't feel burdened. Don't miss out on stuff because you need a lot of time to get ready. Be there. You look how you look. Kind of just have that be it. Anyway, you'll see Grits walking around behind as well. Um, I'm gonna talk about the body, body products I use, specifically the sunblock. This is my very favorite sunblock. I started using it, was it two years ago? I think I was pregnant with Emily. Um, this is, it's all, it was heavily used on the trip. This is Supergoop's um, sunscreen mousse. I'm finding it on sale and that's scaring me that they may be discontinuing it. I don't know anything about it. I just know that it's on sale a lot and I'm scared. I love the mousse. It goes on with zero grease. And my dad used it on the trip and he's like, wow, I really like this stuff. I'm like, yeah, it's really good. Uh, so this is SPF 50. I will say none of us got burned at all. David had one little part that was red under his eye. Otherwise, no sunburn. And I loaded myself up with this. I put this on my kids. I also put the sunny screen spray on my kids. Um, this is the SPF 50 for, it's made for babies and kids. And this is like a spray liquid, goes on very easily. My, oh, I didn't bring it up here. There's also a sunny screen stick. You just pull the top off and it is like the shape of a small deodorant stick. It's not deodorant, it's sunscreen and it's the same like sunny screen line. And you can just swipe it all over their face, anywhere on any part of the body. I like using it for their face, neck, and the top of their ears. So my kids were loaded with sunny screen and then the other super group product is this unseen sunscreen. This is a clear, uh, a great base. You can kind of treat it like a primer. You can use it alone. You can use it under makeup. The sun is coming back. Um, I just, this is not sponsored by Super Goop. I have worked with them in the past and they did send me a bunch of product, but these are all repurchases because I love it so much. One other body product just before I move on from it is this Saint Tropez uh, Natural Glowing Skin Bronzing Water Mousse. I used this twice the week leading up to the trip just to take a little bit of the white edge off my pale winter skin. Um, and I knew I wasn't gonna try and get any color down there because I was loading up on sunblock. So this, I'm almost at the very end of this. I think it's usually clear, but this is about a year old, I think. Ooh, when does this expire? Ooh, 12 months. Might be time for me to replace this, but I love this uh, sunless tan. I use a mitt with it. You don't have to, but I'd highly recommend using a mitt and just make sure you wash your hands really well afterwards, but it's such a natural looking glow. I brought some of my favorite hair products, but the one I wanna specifically mention and recommend you taking on a trip if you like texture to your hair um, is the Virtue Create Lifting Powder. This is similar to a texture spray, but it's in a powder. So it's so travel friendly and that's why I wanna highlight it for you. It adds a chalky texture to your hair, either at your root area, at your mid shaft, along your ends, wherever you put it, it's gonna leave a chalky, chalky texture there. Uh, it's the kind of product that it really doesn't brush out. Once you put it in, you're stuck. It works really well. It can add a ton of bulk to your hair. If your hair goes flat, you'll love this at your root area. Or if it were me, I wouldn't spray this right here. I would spray it like here and then fluff up my roots because I don't want the product here. I don't have any hair right here. My hair is here. Um, so use a lifting powder or a texture powder like this when you're on vacation. If you just wanna have easy hair, like if you just blow dry your hair, 
even if you let it air dry. Once it's dry, you definitely want to use this product dry. This will just add a little bit of fullness if your hair tends to go flat. If your hair gets like wide and frizzy in humidity, this isn't going to do anything to help you. But for those of you that want some texture and bulk to your hair, this is great. And it's uh, travel friendly because it's just a powder. It's not an aerosol in here. So the makeup products I use were some favorites, some very simple makeup. Um, I mixed these two together for foundation at the end of the day. So this is a NARS Super Radiant Booster. Unfortunately, this was limited edition. I knew I would fall in, love, fall in love with it and I knew I would talk about it. And I'm so sorry that you can't get it. I hope they bring it back. Um, I have linked some similar products to this in the blog post that I wrote in conjunction with this video. So if you wanna try a liquid bronzing uh, product to mix in with foundation to wear as a base alone to mix in with your moisturizer check the blog post for more links to similar products but what I would do is just mix both of these together this is the bear with me my NYX tinted skin veil this color I have here is true beige buff it's a great match for me I would do a lot more of this and then just a little bit of this for some more coverage um, and this was a beautiful like radiant glow to the skin I would do my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You know, I also love the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Away, but I am out. So I have just thrown this in my makeup bag. This is really great. It doesn't brighten your under eye quite as much as the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away, but it'll give you more coverage. Um, and also I like how compact it is and I like that it's in one of these um, like applicator wands. You know, I hate the Charlotte Tilbury applicator so much. The product is so good, but I hate that applicator so much. For blush, I used, of course, my NARS Liquid Blush. This shade is Orgasm. I just pumped it onto the back of my hand and used a brush to kind of stipple it into my cheeks. You could also use your fingers if you wanted to. Um, for eyeshadow, when I wore it, I chose the A Naturel uh, Caviar Eyeshadow Stick by Laura Mercier. This is still the travel I'm working on from a Christmas duo package they released that I think I got in November. Um, and I'm still working on it. I have bought the full size because I can't be without it. But on natural is it's what I have on my all over my lids today. Oh, remind me to tell you about this lipstick at the end as well. Um, so that is just like a your skin, but one slight shade darker eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow. You blend it in with your finger and you're good to go. For eyeliner, I just did a little stroke of eyeliner right at the very base of my lashes. I flicked it out a tiny bit on the end, and then I used a new mascara. This is the Tarte. C Surfer Curl. It's not waterproof. I think because it says Surfer Curl, I'm like, oh, it's waterproof. I hate waterproof mascara. This is a volumizing mascara by Tarte. I'm 99% sure it is clean. Tarte has some clean products, but not all of their products are clean. Um, this offers such great volume and lift to the lashes. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't add a lot of that wet definition if you like, like really a uh, thick mascara that looks wet on the lashes and then dries to a more, mm, it's kind of hard to explain, but you know what I'm talking about? Like Tarte's Lash Paint, very wet mascara, very clean, crisp lashes, like not, not a clump in sight, but you better have good lashes to be able to withhold like the weight of that wet mascara. This is a little bit more dry. It works good for me, um, but I love the impact I'm able to get for it, from it. So Surfer Curl by Tarte, great mascara. I truly have really enjoyed it. And then the eyebrow pencil I use is, of course, my $8 Revolution Pro. I would put this on before we go to the pool, um, before we went to the pool, but I wasn't concerned if it fell off uh, after the water slides, <laughs> different things that um, my brother-in-law and Justin were doing. It lasted though, I'm so impressed with this product. So this has, of course, the tiny pencil on one end and then a spoolie on the other end. Gritzy, buddy, excuse me. Gritz likes to rub against the tripod. Gritz is my cat and he likes to rub against the tripod. Um, so that is the beauty. As far as bronzer and highlighter, I did pack this palette, which I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not available anymore. Charlotte Tilbury does release these instant look in a palette palettes throughout the year. I think her current one is a very pink based, rosy color palette. Doesn't work for me. Um, so this one is the Beauty Glow. It's perfect. I, I don't know why they would ever stop making it. I mean, look at those colors. Who needs more than that? Um, so I didn't use the cheeks at all. I didn't use the eyeshadows at all, though I could have. I brought this because I liked that the highlighter and the contour were compact in here 
And then I had the option if we wanted to do something a little bit more and I wanted to do something more with my makeup, I could have if I wanted to. Um, but I love this palette. I'm flipping between like, save it, it's so perfect, don't use it. And then also, just use it. Don't. What are you waiting for? Use it. I have, So Charlotte Tilbury, if you're listening, and I know you're not, if anyone's connected at Charlotte Tilbury, Instant Look in a Palette, the five minute face on the, on the go, Beauty Glow. It's the perfect palette. I mean, the perfect palette. So I did not pack this lipstick on a trip. On the trip, I just brought some of my pink go-tos, but I put this on because I arrived home to a Bobbi Brown order, and in it was this Lux Matte Lip Color in Bold Nectar. I did not buy this. It was a free sample with the product that I bought. It is bold, and I was like, oh, hey, sure, let's try it. I love a bold lipstick. I put it on. It is a matte finish and was like, this, this is a little bit too much for me right now. So I dabbed it off, but it stained my lips almost instantly. So now I've just put a little gloss over it, and this is what I'm lef left with. So if you like a matte lipstick and you're looking for something that has long wear, uh, try this Lux Matte Lip Color. This was my first time trying it. I love the packaging. It feels so good in my hand too. Uh, but I just wasn't in, in the mood for it today, so I took it off, but I, it didn't really come off. Now I didn't use makeup remover. I just like blotted it with a tissue. And I was like, well, we can go with kind of a lighter finish for the video. Anyway, that was the beauty I packed on vacation. I kept it pretty simple. As you can see, that was the goal. The sun is coming through now. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you want links to any of these products, just click this box right here on the screen and you can go shop everything I mentioned.